Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we're gonna work on the sixth exercise. So you can take a screenshot now as the image is maximized. Let's start with standard part template. And as usual, go for the sketch, go for the front plane. I would go for the right plane. Okay, now let's start creating the sketch. So I would simply create a random sketch in this fashion. All right. Now let's create a center line. And let's start selecting lines in this fashion going for symmetry similarly select these three lines and again go for symmetric and also select these three lines and go for symmetry so now almost uh, all the sides are symmetric if you can also do the symmetry for this line as well We can do for this as well. Okay, now if you just zoom or zoom in and in uh, out, uh, not zoom in, if you just drag this outwards or inwards, you'll be able to see that uh, all the, uh, the line that is associated or whatever we have done symmetry for will be moving with the symmetry constraint in mind. Now let's start giving constraints for this. So firstly we'll go for this 120, 20, let's go for overall length is 45 and the angle here is 90 degrees and the length here is 5 and what else mm. okay this length is 30 okay now you can see that the whole sketch has turned to black it means that it's fully constrained now you can exit the sketch and then go for extrude bottom base you can give 45 and click on the tick mark and you will have it here so in this exercise we have used uh, a lot of uh, symmetry function so also if you don't want to use that if you want an alternate option at all you were to create only this much if you wanted some some of them to be mirrored you always have an option to do the mirror entity so to do that you need to have a, a center line so you can just select whatever you want to mirror and mirror entity 
and go for mirror about and you can select this line and click on the tick button and that particular option will be mirrored so if you just move it it'll just it's just gonna give you the same option that you had and here this portion is not coming because this was not part of the mirror and i hope you understood that and uh, that's about uh, that's about this exercise six so we have learned newly the mirror function in this particular video and uh, i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for the next uploads thank you